We are at Super Zoo again in Las Vegas, Nevada, one of the biggest pet product trade shows in the U.S. And I'm here with Toby Scovron of the Pet Lou brand at PetSafe. How are you doing, Toby? I'm great. How are you? Good. Excellent. Good. Excellent show. Amazing show. You could characterize the pet industry as right now as like this is the gilded age. Yeah. I mean, strong growth for 20 years. Yep. Um, seemingly recession proof. Yeah. And people are spending more on their pets every year. Yeah. But one of the concerns is pet ownership. The rates of pet ownership aren't growing or are flatlining in some demographics. Okay. So I'm curious to know just from your perspective, you're a young guy. I know yeah. you want to be in the pet industry for a long yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here to stay. How, uh, how do you see us continuing to grow this industry with those challenges? Yeah, I think that um, if I can talk on my own experience, um, I'm 32 years old. I've only just had a daughter. Um, so I think, and I've had pets in my life forever as a kid, but my wife and I had pets, well we've had our own two dogs for almost eight, nine years now, um, but we've only had a daughter for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So I think that I'm not anything special. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much the statistic. A lot of people, unfortunately during the downtime in the economy, um, opted to go for pets as opposed to bringing kids into the world, which I don't think was a bad idea. Um, but I think that, you know, going forward, it definitely raises a few questions and as a product creator um, growth is achieved by either increasing market size or bringing out more to offer the current market right. um, so we have to balance that out right. and still try and maintain our growth and along those lines uh, i just read recently somewhere that um, pet ownership drops off significantly at age 70 and, yep. and really steep drop off at 75 right um, and there's a lot of reasons for that you know, yep. it might be health or you know living living situation yeah um, but what what do you think we can do as an industry or what can pet safe do to help people keep their pets in their homes longer yeah so we actually have a bunch of innovative solutions but before we talk about that or I'm not sure if this is the platform to discuss that. Um, you know, my, my wife is actually very heavily involved in animal assisted therapy. Um, and she has seen through her um, patients and some of the case studies that she's done that people that have a pet in their life at an older age actually increase their life uh, sense of self-worth and desire to actually stay around. And I'm hoping from a product manufacturer's perspective, we can create those solutions to break down those barriers right. um, to, so that people can hold on to that little bit of joy just a little bit longer. Right. Are there any particular products that, that speak directly to the aspirations of the boomer, which are number one, travel, number yep. two, health and wellness, yeah. and number three, you know, convenience of home living? Yeah. So absolutely. We do, you know, 1,500 odd different products. Okay. Um, yeah, just, just, a, just a few, um, and all of them play a role somewhere along the line, whether it's a treat to keep the dog occupied for extended periods of time while you're out of the home, whether it's a containment system to prevent the dog from crossing the boundary and, and actually potentially harming themselves, um, to uh, bark um, sprays to prevent the dog from annoying the neighbor next door or barking or having a child in the house that's sleeping and the bark, dog barking to, you know, Pet Lou, which is a solution for the in-between times uh, for pet toileting and doesn't matter where you live, uh, house, house boat, uh, house wherever boat. you want. Um, this is a patch of backyard for wherever it is you are and wherever it is you want to live your life. Um, and that's just like three or four of the right. top products. I mean, we can just... We can, we can dive deep we on it. We can spend all day talking about the product. Probably a couple of days. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's all good. Well, terrific. I, I appreciate your input, and, and I love the work that you're doing. Thank and, you. And um, I'm, I'm lucky to get to work with you. And Likewise. Keep, keep it up. Thanks so much. Okay. All right.